Hi everyone and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I have an easy and delicious chicken dinner recipe for you and I want to show you how to make my coconut mango chicken curry. You guys are going to love this dish. It is so incredibly aromatic and delicious. I love that creamy curry sauce made with coconut. It has a little bit of sweetness from the mango and then you have juicy pieces of chicken. I love to serve this dish over a bed of white rice with some cilantro and limes to add a little bit of freshness. You guys are going to love this incredible dinner recipe. My husband I first tried this dish at a Thai restaurant many, many years ago. And then when we moved out of that area, I recreated this dish at home and we've been enjoying it for years. So I hope you guys enjoy this dish at home as much as we do. Let's get started. I'm going to show you how to make this incredible recipe. And I'm going to get things started with the chicken. So I'm preheating a large frying pan over medium high heat. I'm going to add in a drizzle of some cooking oil and I have two pounds of cubed chicken breast. You can also use chicken thigh for this recipe. And because there's so much chicken, I'm actually going to split this portion in half. I'm going to fry just half at a time. And we'll season the chicken with a little bit of salt. I'm going to fry this chicken for about six to seven minutes until it's nicely browned all over. I'm going to remove my chicken into a clean plate and at this point it doesn't need to be fully cooked because they will simmer a little bit longer in that mango and coconut curry sauce that we make a little bit later. Add a little bit more oil if needed and then I'll add in the rest of my chicken. This last batch of chicken is all done. I'm going to remove it from the pan. I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of butter into the pan. I like to use butter because it's going to add so much incredible flavor to the sauce. And into the melted butter, I'm going to add in one large diced onion. I'm going to cook the onion in this butter for about three to four minutes until it's nice and soft. Next, I'm going to add in five minced garlic cloves. Toss that in with the onion and I'll cook that down for about 30 seconds. I'm also going to add in two tablespoons of curry powder. And this is the exact powder that I'm using today. It's an organic curry powder. I picked this up at Safeway. I'm gonna sprinkle that in. And I'll also add in a teaspoon of paprika. Oh, these spices smell so good. They're so, so aromatic. Next, I'm going to add in a tablespoon and a half of all-purpose flour, and this is going to help thicken the curry sauce as it cooks. I'm gonna toss it really quick. And then I'm going to add in a cup and a half of chicken broth. And you can see the sauce is already thickening nicely. Next, I'll add in one and a half cups of coconut milk, and this is a full fat coconut milk. It's not skim or low fat. Check that out. This is gonna be so creamy and delicious. I'm going to season this with a teaspoon of salt. Next, I'm going to add in my mango. So today I used about one and a half large mangoes. You'll need about a cup of diced mango. Drop that in. The mango is going to add so much incredible flavor to this dish. And I'm going to return my chicken back into the pan. Just toss this all together. I mean, this already smells so good. It's going to taste incredibly delicious. I'm going to let the sauce come up to simmer over medium heat, and I'm going to reduce the heat down to a medium low and just let the simmer away for about eight to 10 minutes. You want that mango to be nice and soft, and then you want the chicken breast to finish cooking. And this is done simmering. I've turned off the heat, and now I'm going to add in a couple tablespoons of freshly chopped cilantro. And that's it. This dish is ready to be enjoyed. Just stir in the cilantro. And I'm going to serve my mango chicken curry uh, with a bed of white rice. I actually like to spoon it kind of on the side so you have plenty of fresh white rice. Guys, this is going to be incredible. I'm going to garnish the tray with some fresh mango on the side. Sprinkle on some chopped cilantro. You gotta have some little wedges of lime in there. I like to squeeze a little bit of fresh lime juice over the top. Adds a little bit of acidity and it just makes the dish really shine. 
And that is it guys for a mango chicken curry. I cannot wait to dig in and enjoy because it smells so incredibly delicious. For the full recipe, don't forget to head on down the video description box. I'll have a link there that'll take you over to my website where you'll find the full recipe and you can share it with your family and friends. Now time to dig in. This smells so, so good. What I like to do is get a little bit of the chicken and we're going to get some of the mango, some of the rice. Oh, this looks so, so good. Incredible. Mmm. Mm-hmm. This dish is just, wow, so much flavor. I love that creamy coconut sauce. It's so incredibly delicious. Mmm. Mm-hmm. You guys are going to love this dish from the very first bite. So incredibly delicious, so much flavor and aroma. That creamy coconut curry sauce just coats the juicy pieces of chicken breast. You have a little bit of sweetness from the mango. And I love the addition of that lime juice on the top, the little bit of uh, fresh sour lime juice really brightens this dish up, adds even more incredible flavor. And today I'm enjoying it with white rice. You could also eat this dish with brown rice, either way, so much flavor, so incredibly delicious. You guys are going to love it. Plus, it's so easy to make. You can have it ready and done in under 30 minutes. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video recipe and I hope you enjoy this recipe at home as much as I do. It is definitely one of our family favorites. Don't forget to head on down the video description box for the recipe and I'll see you next time with a new video.